For the United States, strong relations with European countries are crucial, especially in the context of current economic and security concerns. So when President Obama met the Georgian leader today, the importance of their alliance was top of the agenda. Today's meeting marks the 20th anniversary of diplomatic relations between the US and Georgia. I'm pleased to say that President Saakashvili joins me now to talk about those discussions. Fresh from the White House, Mr. President, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Nice to be back on your, in your studio. Um, in 2008, a leading American politician at the time of uh, the Georgian war with Russia said, we are all Georgians. Is that the reception you still get in Washington today? Well, I, uh, um, uh, it was amazingly good reception. I was, uh, I've been to Oval Office before as well several times uh, under previous administrations. But I have to say that this time our relations have been elevated really to the new level. You know, Be, this time there was a very concrete contents from it because I came out with two messages. First, uh, two important ones, but many others that are uh, equally as uh, significant. But uh, uh, the fact that President Obama spoke about the prospect of free trade agreement between Georgia and the United States. This is a key breakthrough for a breakthrough and elevating this to the level of a high level commission on the economy that would be created outright. And second, uh, elevating our defense security cooperation, namely with focus on Georgia's self defense. And uh, the, certainly he further expressed his uh, support for Georgia's. Uh, NATO aspirations, a strong support for Georgia's territorial integrity. This is very important because there have been you know, attempts to undermine it. Let me ask you about those NATO aspirations. You, are, um, you have a thousand forces at the moment fighting alongside the coalition in Afghanistan. You must be one of the only countries in the coalition that is planning to increase the number of your are, forces one within battle, Afghanistan. Yeah. Is that with a view to your NATO membership in no, mind? Actually, we, we are adding one more battalion, that's true, 1,700 people will have there, and per capita will be the second biggest contributor after the United but, States. But what is Georgia's interest in fighting well, first more, of all, sending more troops to Afghanistan? We are very close to that region. So what happens in Afghanistan, we, I mean, it really impacts the whole thing of, of Georgia. Georgia is uh, very, uh, you know, culturally and uh, politically a very European country. Geographically, it's also uh, at that fault area of all this geopolitical terms. Uh, and certainly uh, it impacts us. On the other hand, uh, I think it's also our partnership with the United States and NATO world that really matters, but also it's, it's an important, uh, I think, uh, uh, upgrade of our military forces that they, uh, they, are, they are good. And these are not my words. I mean, I've talk, spoken to a number of commanders from the U.S. that are commanding them, that they are all highly complimentary about Georgian troops. We've tra suffered casualties, dozens of people injured, <laughs> quite some killed, but... Uh, Let's talk about your own acute security concerns, because I think most Americans, for example, when they think about Georgia today, the one thing they will think about is the war that you had with Russia back in 2008. We now have Russia's uh, politics again in the spotlight. It looks like Mr. Putin will be Russia's next president. How does that make Georgians feel? Well, uh Indeed, 20% of our territory still occupies under military, Russian military occupation. That's how this world is called by the U.S. administration as well as the European Parliament and the European states and many other countries in the world. We have half a million people expelled that cannot go back to this area. So place basically is empty of population. It has very little of pre whatever pre-war population exists there. These are all very strong burdens on us. But uh, uh, I think what is important now, what really has changed with all the Russian threats, because we've been seeing quite some, uh, you know, menaces from Moscow. You know, indeed there was a Russian military drill which basically focused on uh, f uh, some further aggressive steps over Georgia that they've just organized. But so, so presumably, a next President Putin would make you feel more nervous, not yes, less. Yes, but nervous. what I think also has changed, and uh, after the war, and that's a big, huge difference. Georgia has had strong economic rebound bound in comparative terms with the region uh, and very often even Russian opposition figures not only and also a lot of figures around the region cite Georgia as an example for not only democratic transformation but also for economic reforms fighting corruption fighting crime and you know President Obama indeed said today Georgia is a model for the region quite a compliment from from the US president so even he noticed it or he took notice of that. President Saakashvili we have to leave it there thank you so much Thanks for coming so into much. the studio again.